This is the best fight on the card. Weidman Masasi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. B? Well, um, I think Chris Weidman has had a, a rough go of it, partially because of injury. I think he had a bad neck and he had some other stuff going on, from what I hear. So I don't know. I don't know what he's what he's feeling like physically. I don't know what he's feeling like mentally. Um, obviously, he's fighting. What I what I love about Musasi is he couldn't. It's like hey, he just woke up from a nap. He couldn't be less enthusiastic when he stands there with the worst posture of all time. And he just sits there and he goes, "This is what I do. I've been doing there's, this since I was no 15. sense of urgency. Absolutely no sense of urgency. It seems like zero nerves. Like I was just playing cards. I got up and so I was like, "You want to fight?" He's like, "What?" Uh, what oh, this guy? Uh-huh. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, you know, Musashi can beat anybody in the world in any given day. Anybody in the world in any given day. Jeez. I mean, and that's a fact. Look at look at his record. He's been fighting since he was ten years old. Or <laughs> he came out of the womb. He has fifty fights boxing. total if you include his kickboxing. That's a fuckload. Yeah. So, uh, in, it, it's a very in any any way you cut it, it's a very tough fight for Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman's an absolute beast. If he does beat um, Musasi, I I don't see it as, as I see it as a grind. I see it as him using his wrestling and him getting Musasi to a point where he's grounding and pounding him. That's doing damage from from the from being on top of Musasi. That's the only way. Don't you agree? Um, I mean, Musasi hasn't beat the upper echelon guys. Anytime he f- faces an upper echelon guy, he usually loses. You know, like. Uh, so he fought, uh, Jock Ray, you know, he lost, he fought an older Dan Henderson, but he won, but that's not Dan Henderson mm-hmm. in his prime. You know, he lost to Leoto Machida. So he, he hasn't had like that key win in, in the, his mm-hmm. UFC career. Um, I like Weidman this fight. I know Weidman's coming off two losses. Granted, it's a Yo Romero, which he looked great in that fight until he got fucking knee to the face yeah. by that crazy Cuban mutant. And then, <laughs> you know, and then the the Rockhold fight was a great fight until he threw that bullshit spinning back kick. And if you look at the shape of Weidman, I've never seen him in better shape. He does look good now, yeah. He brought in Stipe for this camp. He's brought in all these killers just to get ready. I think he's an underdog, too. I, I like this. It's such a fork in the road for Weidman. I like Weidman's chances. I think it's five of the night, too. Yeah, and, and do you think that Weidman gets it done by, by decision. taking him down? Decision. Getting on top of him, be beating decision. Him, winning yeah, rounds. Grinding decision. him out, yeah. I don't think anyone gets finished. I think, that, I think Weidman takes Musasi down before Musasi takes Weidman down. And I, think, I, think I don't Weidman, think Musasi would try and take him down. Right. I think, I, went, I think Weidman is really good at you know, keeping you on your back. So that's the, the way I see it is that, that would be the way it would go. So you know what? I'll go with Weidman. Boom. Both got Weidman. 